Your classmates have collected water from the ocean. I will provide you with a measured quantity. This one says 135 milliliters of seawater. So I've measured that in a graduated cylinder. There's 100. There's the 35. Each beaker will have a different volume of seawater. So read your label. The buffet table will provide you with a variety of salts. Some may be labeled with a formula, some with a name. You should know how to translate name into formula and vice versa. Since these are shared items, you cannot keep one of these at your table. You will need to weigh out some salt, so weigh it and bring it back. In case we do have some evil hoarders, uh, I'll have this list available so you can know what salt should be here. And if it's not here, we'll find out who stole it. I've given you a flask that says spare seawater in addition to your flask with the measured quantity of seawater. You also have test tubes, so you can use this spare seawater to do experiments so you have some evidence before you commit your entire sample here. You can do some trials with the test tubes. This is your first lab using a calculator. I expect every individual at the table to have a calculator. I've got a calculation on my screen here. Let me get an answer. I got 21.375. What'd you get? Gee, I got 20.25. Clearly, we need to reach consensus before we move on. Everyone calculates. Everyone should get the same answer. Then you move on. Here near the distilled water jug, we have a drying oven. This can be set to a reasonably high temperature. And you could set something in here that you want to evaporate the water and it would dry in a gentle fashion rather than using your Bunsen burner that might burn things to a crisp. Here, for example, I have a wet filter paper cone and I can set it on a dish. This is called a watch glass. And I can take that assembly and put it into the oven where it could dry. It would take maybe an hour or two to dry completely, so you might have to come back later. But this is a way to dry out your material without using the extreme heat of the Bunsen burner. At the end of the hour, that original beaker that I gave you, I need to get that back. I need to use it for my next class. So make sure you clean your beaker. Don't give me a beaker that looks like this. Clean it up and then give it back to me.